I received this new set of essential oils and uh, first of all it comes boxed in this beautiful box that I was very very impressed um, if I wanted to use these to give for a gift um, the box alone just really speaks a lot so we just slide this off and then we'll open up the box here and first thing you see is this guide here and it is really informative um, you go through and it tells how to use essential oils um, just a little bit about them and then you go into a little glossary here that tells you about each one of the essential oils um, included in this and it tells what the best way is to use them and what their properties will enhance. So after you go through that, and then it comes back here and it goes through some different recipes um, that you can use. And it's just so nice because it tells you exactly how many drops to put in, um, whether to add it with oil um, or with uh, like a carrier oil, whether to um, add it with, in this case, laundry detergent, an unscented laundry detergent. Um, it's got a recipe here for a home freshener. And, you know, actually you could come up with your own recipe for that, but it tells you what to add it to um, to, to make it the most effective. I absolutely love this. These are recipes I have not seen before. My favorite one here is the air freshener which in this case says to put in six drops of lemon, six, drop, six drops of orange, six drops of, or eight drops of the eucalyptus. I absolutely love that blend anyway. But um, then you fill a spray bottle with water, or you can add um, three cups of water and two tablespoons of alcohol. And I just get a kick out of this because it specifies to use either vodka or rubbing alcohol. That's just, I just found that so funny that um, I could add vodka um, to a home freshener recipe. I, uh, I'll probably start off with just the um, water because I don't really want to put rubbing alcohol or vodka um, <clears throat> in an air freshener. But um, yeah, it goes through a lot of different recipes and it's a, it's a nice little uh, heavy cardstock um, book that I'm definitely going to keep around. So then we come to the oils. This is such a great selection of them. It is definitely um, the favorites um, and lemon happens to be one of my favorites right now so I was really happy with this because it includes lemon and lemongrass and there is a difference to those. So um, it, it's a little difficult to get them out but um, if you turn this a little bit to the side, pull that a little bit to the side then they will slide out. So a very nice bottle. Um, all of the labels are on really nice. Um, I've had a couple which is no big deal but it just the first impression you know but I've had some of them come that the labels are really crappy and they haven't even been applied correctly. This is in a very very nice bottle um, tinted bottle for safety um, and, and keeping the oil better. It just twists, twists off and then you have the dropper in here. Um, as soon as I received this in the mail though, uh, before I even opened it, I could smell them. And at first I was worried that maybe one of the bottles had shattered, um, but I got them out and every one of the bottles is sealed and, um, and is fine. Oh my god, they just smelled so good. And I couldn't even tell you which one it was, it was just a combination of all of them. But as soon as you take the cap off, you immediately start smelling it. it it's a very, very nice scent. So I've got the little diffuser here um, and I'm going to show you. It seems to me when I get essential oils um, that have this type of cap on them, they either come out so slow that I have to shake, shake, shake to get even one drop out and then I end up usually getting um, the drops on my counter as they go wild. Um, or they come out pretty fast. Now this one does come out a little fast so just be careful um, when you're going to put the essential oils in. So we'll get the camera up here. And I'm going to put in, this is just um, 100 milliliters 
um, so I really don't want to put in a whole lot but you can see how quickly it comes out okay and I because it almost poured out I wasn't really a, um, able to count how many drops it was um, but it, it came out with a little bit of a yellow cast to it apologize the dogs think somebody is here um, but uh, it, it quickly absorbed into the water I can't see any oil sitting here um, but the scent like I said the scent is amazing stop the scent is amazing and um, we're gonna put we're gonna go ahead and put this on and I'll start it up here I would just start the video over since uh, the dogs are barking, but I've gotten so far into it, I really don't want to. So, like I said, I apologize for the dogs barking. Okay, so this mister puts out quite a bit of mist for me here. And, oh my gosh, I can smell it already. It is a, um, it's, it's a sweet citrus. Um, it smells like if you were making fresh lemonade. It almost makes my mouth water. Um, it smells like true lemon. It doesn't smell like um, any other chemicals have been added. It doesn't, I don't get a, uh, sometimes on some of them, I get a musty scent on the end of them. Um, or, you know, I mean, it's, it's an essential oil. They aren't going to necessarily all smell like um, a fragrance oil. But um, I've opened these up, and I've sent, smelled each one of them, and I'm very, very impressed with them. The rosemary, um, especially, it, it doesn't have a pleasant, you know, like you want to put it in a um, diffuser sort of scent, which is obviously true to rosemary, but rosemary works so well to mix with other scents and just completely changes them. But it's not an unpleasant scent. But um, it, uh, my, a friend of mine sells the essential oils that seriously run like seventy dollars a bottle and he claims that they're the purest on the planet and i will put these up against it anytime um i feel that the scent and the properties that i've experienced from these are um are, are very impressive so i i'm really impressed with this set i think it's a great set i think it's an awesome price um, and I, I believe the quality is exceptional.